Hello and welcome again to Not Fake News. Don't forget to share, subscribe, smash that like button like Hillary does emails, servers, and blackberries. We have a bunch of breaking stories, so let's do this. Hillary demands this customized street sign be taken down. Poor Hillary. Crooked Hillary. Exit S1W. <laughs> Freeway exit sign defaced to read Crooked Hillary. I, I, that, I should have remembered that. I did that video early. I just didn't put two and two together. Okay. Look who just sued the Department of Justice. Justice Department. Conservative watchdog group, Judicial Watch, just filed a lawsuit against the Justice Department for the release of Comey's memos on President Trump. And to make a long story short... We don't know yet anything more than that. But we will find out. <clears throat> Breaking. It's confirmed. Look who just died in a tragic stunt. A man who was attempting his second plunge into Niagara Falls has been confirmed dead. His second plunge. One time too many. Just that, you know, he, you did it. You did it, bro. <sighs> CP24 reported, Niagara Falls, New York, a man who survived the plunge over Niagara Falls without protection in 2003 has died after he went over again, this time in an inflatable ball. Yeah, he probably said, you know, look, I just winged that the first time and I lived. Damn. Hmm. Surprising, huh? You think the ball thing would have worked? Police tell the Syracuse Post Standard the body of the 53-year-old Kirk R. Jones was found in uh, Niagara River by the U.S. Coast Guard on June 2nd. Mm -mm -mm. Detective Sergeant Brian Nisbet of the New York State Police Department say the, uh, the same man who became the first person to survive an unprotected plunge over the falls in 2003. Yeah. Okay. Breaking. Active shooter situation happening right this minute. Breaking news. Harvard Community College said there is an active shooter situation on their campus. Harvard Community College. Harford. Harford, not Harvard, Harford, H-A-R-F-O-D, Community College. Wow. Harford Community College is warning people to stay away from this campus for what they are calling an active shooter situation. What are they trying to do? Make us afraid to send our kids to the college? Is that the thing? Is that their next thing? Break us down with dumbness. Stop the kids from going to college. Are you seeing the trend? I mean, what else is it? What could it be? What could it be? Why? Because you know this isn't... Um, I don't believe it's organic. I believe it's... I think everything's almost set up. I'm saying stuff. I can't really read, uh, you know, the things up close. It's hard to see the, the chats, but I'm saying stuff. You guys debate that. Harvard Community College is wanting people to stay away from its campuses for what they're calling an active shooter situation. However, the Harford County Sheriff's Office said they have no confirmation of an active shooter or shots fired at the school. They are recommending police stay away. People stay away from the area. So the police aren't saying this is happening yet. This could be a f just fake news. The Hartford County Fire and EMS said they have been called to the HCC baseball field. This is bull. No other information has been released. You see, okay, so the left, people on the left, the shooting happens. Now, all they have to do is make a phone call or throw out a fake news ad. Boom, everyone believes it, or at least reads it, and it gets in your head. 
It gets in your head. It just gets in your head. The post of the school Facebook page said that the location is Hartford Sports Complex. The alert went out just after 2.30 p.m. Saturday. Today. The school is advising everyone to avoid the area or shelter in place. The school is located in Bell Air, Maryland, north of Baltimore. I really hope the Democrats are happy with themselves. You're proud of yourselves, huh? Huh? Celebrities, you're proud of yourself? This is all you, man. Sad. Next story. New report on NYC subways released, and it's bad. Three-fourths of New York City subways are plagued with massive delays. Three-quarters of the city subway lines are plagued by chronically late trains, and five lines are late more than 50% of the time, according to the MTA date for the last three months of the year. The city's tardy this train is the second line. I don't need a breakdown of their train system. Thanks. And I'm going to... I'm not going to throw that. That's a long one also. Don't worry. He's withdrawing from a sissy job. And he's, he wants a, a better job. A stronger job. A more aggressive job. That's Sheriff Clark. Louis Cat. Man, you love your politics, don't you, bro? <laughs> All right. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you when I see you.